It's the evolution of the iconic air superiority fighter Su-27. The new Sukhoi Su-35 is a versatile single-seat twin-engine fighter with unique maneuverability. The Sukhoi company began developing it in the late 80s and at that time it was known as the Su-27-1000. But after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, they renamed it Su-35 incorporating new technologies such as vector thrust in its engines, aerodynamic improvements and modern digital avionics. Welcome to a new video from the Aeropedia of Aviation World. In 1983, the 1000 Industry of Defense of the Soviet Union urged Suhoi to use the Su-27, which was still in full serial construction, and being delivered to the Air Force as the basis of a plane that would incorporate new improvements, whose internal manufacturing name would be T-10-1000. The idea is that with these new technologies like Canas fins, which later inherited the embarked Su-33, and with new avionics it would be even more maneuverable than its predecessor Su-27 and would have to increase its weapon load capacity both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. Despite its resemblance to the Su-27, the plane would be built with a new manufacturing method and making extensive use of composite materials and lithium aluminum alloys. The canard fins that were added to the Su-27-1000 greatly improved the airflow over the wings, eliminating the flutter effect and allowing the plane to fly at very high attack angles. It incorporated the new digital fly-by-wire flight control system technology. In addition to increased maneuverability, another feature that distinguished the Su-27-1000 from the original was the new weapon control system with a more powerful double pulse radar, which could track 15 aerial targets simultaneously and guide 6 missiles towards them at the same time. At the back, in the Stinger, there is a rear scanning radar which protects the aircraft from attacks from behind. The cockpit was modernized and equipped with color liquid crystal display multifunction displays. It equipped a new, much more powerful and reliable engine, the Wilka AL31FM, which later also powered the SU-34. The range of the plane was increased to 4000 km. Through a greater fuel capacity and with the incorporation of a probe for in-flight refueling, the range could be extended even further. The first prototype called T-10-1001, flew for the first time on June 28 of 1968, and along with a second prototype had been its 27 converted. Only the third prototype was the one that was built from scratch with all the forms of the new manufacturing. It made its first flight in April of 1992. By then, the Soviet Union had disintegrated, and the ensuing economic crisis in Russia during the 1990s meant that the original plan to mass produce the aircraft between 1996 and 2005 was abandoned. Regardless, in the early 90s, the Su-35 was presented at numerous air shows, and in addition to the three original prototypes, in 1996 three more aircraft were completed and were delivered to the Russian Air Force for testing. In the same years, the 11th prototype of the Su-35, or T-10-1011, was delivered to the Sukhoi Experimental Workshop for the installation of exclusive systems and equipment. This experimental aircraft was called Su-37 and it was the first to equip, among other things, vector thrust adjustable nozzles on the subject. There's already a video on the channel. I leave the links below in the description and above in the cards. This made its first flight in April of 1996 and a second Su-35 was modified to Su-37 in 1998.
In the end, 15 Su-35 aircraft were built, including a two-seater Su-35V prototype, but they never went into serial production due to lack of funding, although yes, much of the technology they possessed was used in other aircraft such as the automatic control of the canards in the early Su-35 and the orientable nozzles of the Su-37 in the export version of the Suhoi Su-30 Mark cast of the Indian Air Force. It had new improvements such as a reinforced structure with a more extensive use of titanium alloys, thus increasing the durability of the fuselage, a reduction of the radar signature from the front, and an improved type of passive electronic scanning radar supercruise capability. That is, it can fly at supersonic speeds without using afterburning. It incorporates many other improvements in its avionics and electronic systems, including modified fly-by-wire flight control systems. But the main changes that were noticeable in its structure dispenses with the canards and air brakes and used the new Saturn 117S engines with orientable nozzles inherited from the Su-37. This new version did go into serial production in 2009 and the Russian Ministry of Defense initially acquired 48 units which were designated Su-35S and the letter S is just for serial or serial production. In May of 2011, the first serial production Su-35S fighter made its first flight. Sukhoi estimated that the Su-35 could be manufactured at a rate of 24 to 30 specimens per year from 2010 to 2020. It is a design of a large twin-engine fighter bomber. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 34,500 kilos and a range of 3,600 kilometers with internal fuel tanks. Its maximum speed was 2,400 kilometers per hour or Mach 2.25 and it had 12 attachment points to carry up to 8,000 kilos of weaponry. It also has an internal 30 millimeter cannon with 150 rounds. It is equipped with a new advanced technology control cabin with two rectangular color liquid crystal display multifunction screens and touch controls, new quadruple redundancy digital control system. It also has all the systems derived from the Su-37 such as the radar, new flight computers, defense system and an electronic sight mounted on the pilot's helmet to designate enemy targets. It also has an OEPS 27 electro optical sighting system on the radar cone with an infrared search and track target search and tracking system and an infrared camera. It is used together with the aircraft's radar in an air to air combat mission against other aircraft. It works as an infrared search and tracking system that is a passive system unlike radar. In an air to surface combat mission it performs identification and location of targets. The new IRVIS electro-optical radar system detects and tracks up to 30 aerial targets at the same time and can attack 8 simultaneously within a range of up to 400 kilometers. The information can be sent to other combat aircraft that can fly with their active radars turned off to avoid detection by the enemy. Russia's Su-35S also have their permanent base at the Vesevet base, near the border with Finland. 
In January 2016, Russia for the first time deployed four of these planes at the Min Min Air Base in Syria, as part of Russian air operations in that country. In November 2016, China became the first export customer for the Su-35. Discussions about the sale of the Su-35 proved to be prolonged due to the manufacturer's concern about intellectual rights as this country had previously copied the designs of the Su-27SK and the Su-33 to create the J-11B and the J-15 respectively. For this reason, China was required to provide a guarantee against copying this aircraft and in the end, 24 of these planes were acquired. At the end of 2014, Russia offered the Su-35 to Indonesia and in February of 2018, they finalized the purchase contract for 11 aircraft for a value of $1,140 million. In 2020, Egypt signed a contract to acquire 26 Su-35S fighter jets. After a new contract for 50 more aircraft, in the end Russia renewed the contract to acquire 50 more aircraft to equip its air force, providing them with a total of 98 aircraft so far. Until a new video, my name is Marcos and this is the Aeropedia of Aviation World.